the spate of kidnappings, banditry, and criminality in our state are increasing at a very alarming rate. The bandits are getting bolder by the day, inching closer and moving from rural communities even to urban communities. The city of Zaria was attacked last week and two housewives abducted in the peripheries of Zaria city. Our schools are being attacked and the students being executed by these bandits. In Greenfield University, we've lost five students that were killed in cold blood by these evil people. We still have 29 students of Federal College of Mechanization, Africa, in custody. Our military, police, and other security agencies need a lot of resources, human and material, to be able to discharge their constitutional responsibilities. We have to ask ourselves as a nation whether we are providing enough of those resources before we turn around to complain about the situation that we are. This state of affairs in the military, the police, and other security agencies has been building up for a long time. It did not start today. It has just reached a critical point now with groups of terrorists, insurgents, and bandits challenging the authority of the Nigerian state. Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, this is a time for unity. It is the time for all good citizens of Nigeria to unite, support, and pray for our security agencies to get our nation out of these dire straits.